Hi, my name is Ilda Santiago. I will be doing this video for the marketing class with Dr. Guy Rickman. We were asked to do two binders. One is the research binder. Is this one. In this binder, we are going to have the vertebral subluxation, the wellness development care, subluxation condition-based care, chiropractic spinal, functional neurology in chiropractic, current mechanics, mechanic system, bad medicine, and new vitalistic system. Now the second binder is going to be the practice management. This one is going to have the pre-visit, the visit one, healthcare class, report of findings, and the progressive exam. Okay, now we are going to do the first visit with the patient. I will be presenting myself and I will ask my patient why he or she consulted the office today. We cannot tell them that we are going to solve any kind of pain or problems that the patient has because if we fail to do so, we will look bad as chiropractors and we will make the chiropractic profession look bad as well so instead we should tell them that a lot of people come to the office with very similar problems um, I will be asking my patient now uh, what's the major reason that he consulted the office today with us I came here um, because I have uh, very bad neck pain Okay, now we know what we need to answer. After that, we are going to do a comprehensive case history to the patient. Um, then we can do or perform the three uh, exams. This is going to be during the first visit. These exams are going to be the physical exam, the chiropractic exam, and the x-ray exam. The first part is about condition-based care, and the second part is about subluxation after the chiropractic exam. The chiropractic exam has five parts. These, these ones are going to be the spinal kinesiology, neuropathophysiology, myopathology, histopathology, in pathophysiology. All of this info is going to be studied and then we are going to put it together and move on to the next visit where we'll be showing them a video so that they can understand about chiropractic care. After that we will be discussing the findings with them which then will lead us to our recommendation care which will either lead to the patient to come to our office and start chiropractic care or go outside the office and do other things this is or we can combine them uh, this is going to depend on the patient decision if he or she wants to go through the chiropractic care or not. Um, this is all. My name is Hilda Santiago again and thank you for watching.